Hey, you be here with Ginger in the Desert Creations. For the longest time, I have wanted to make another of the, uh, the swiped seascape sunrise thingamajigers, and so I'm gonna go and do it. Let's go, wait! Alright, hopefully we will make a beautiful sunrise for a hot summer's day. Start with our pearl canary be in the very center the sun the bright shiny bit the only shiny bit in the sky it's spreading like crazy go around it with the lemon yellow just a ring around it just some bright 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 to get carried through the rest of the sky and then we just go crazy with the rest of the colors just kind of Stream it around and give it a bit of bit of presence everywhere. <laughs> Bloppy presence everywhere. It's okay, that's okay. The orange. I really have a lot of love for this uh, fluorescent orange, even though it's, you know, cheapy color. The yellow pink is kind of close. Well, it doesn't look that close when it's put next to it, now does it? No. That's fun. Almost looks gray. The light blue violet is kind of going to get favored on the outside a little bit. Because it would look weird if it were too close to our setting sun, I believe. And just for a bit of fun here, Montmartre Titanium, tiny, tiny little influences. Probably should go streaky this way, yes? Streaky this way, because clouds are usually streaky this way. I'm gonna just take a moment to wonder where the hell my swipe tool disappears to every time I'm ready to work. Swiping outwards. Oh, so amazing. Hold a little bit too much off that edge. I've got too many things hanging out where I would need space. Come through and still swipe that. Even though I don't know that I won't just cover that with ocean. Gonna raise the angle just a little bit. Clean it well enough, and that's why there's that little little pickup of the color there. Coming up here, and we're starting to get a little bit of a little bit of hint of the blue staying in there. Oops. <laughs> oh, messy, messy, messy. <laughs> Bit of interesting green. Back on a better track. A 
That wants attention, but I don't want to upset it too much to get there. So, then very carefully for some surgery. I do believe I see a lump. Let's make sure that's not an air bubble first. likely have popped if it were an air bubble. E. Let's pull it. There we go. And swipe back over it because that's a that's a weird little bug trail we don't want. And still there. No! My will over paint. Actually, I think I'm okay with that. That bit of a ray thing going on there. Pull this way. Check out how the lacing is blooming over there. Just beautiful. Interesting streak of pink right there. Let's see if we can... Ah. <laughs> that piece refuses. No! I will not go. You cannot make me. I'm going to come all the way from here. Streak out. Bye-bye. I win. Come across. Kind of dilute that pink a little bit. Boom. Brought the sun rays all the way out there. And kind of straight across for luck. Actually, I think I'm gonna drag from here back through and just see what happens. <laughs> oh boy, now what do I do? I kind of love that. I'm going to come back this way, I guess. Okay, and because the edges are black, I'm going to have to come through with my palette knife here. I'm going to just grab off of the table anywhere that takes my fancy and kind of just block paint down the side, let it run down just to make sure that we don't have a distraction. Uh -oh. Touch the edge there. Touch it again. And encourage it to blend in. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So I am going to start on the ocean blue. Or teal and turquoise and what have you. <laughs> Deep sapphire. Love the insanely dark. Especially for far away water. Kind of all the way up to the edge. 
a little bit here and there there's a lot of that a lot of that deep sapphire on here but we'll push some of it off I am certain thick I'm gonna once again just pop in with the uh, weight and pearl pouring medium it kind of just blops in wherever it wants to and then I will kind of add it when I'm putting on the finishing touches as well piece of rigid plastic and just see how we feel as the mood takes. Come back left-handed. Pop up here and play left-handed. Toothpaste striping us on. You're just kind of think I like this spready motion better. So let's see if we can do some spready motion, shall we? Spready motion. I keep dipping my hand in it. That sound is actually me hitting the board with the edge of the, uh, the rigid plastic. Not issue. Blob in the paint. Jump alert! We have no coverage at the bottom here. That's, that's evil. If I can just Yeah, I'm screwing up the directionality.
Yeah, I pulled too much blue in the center. Have to fix that. Yeah, <laughs> whoops. That is an undesired place for ocean. Blue in the wrong places. That is our problem. Blue in the wrong places. I'm just going to load up this section and re-swipe, push most of it off, cross your everything, and hope that it works. Let's see what we can do to fix this. Bop. Pull it out. 
Right, the rest of it we just kind of mixy still again. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> <laughs> Uncovered some yellow.
And some sparkly over here. Cut in with some of the reflections. I have a half of one of these printable ID swipe cards. Dip it in the paint so we get that edge covered. And then we come down from where that color is prominent and just kind of chop it in. A lot of lemon yellow over here, but I'll still take a bit of a risk. One last dip -de dip You can't actually argue a ton with just picking up what is exactly there. I'm just kind of running with it. Come down and have a look. This thing is a crazy bit of wonderful right here. I am not going to be able to adequately show you the sky because, oh my goodness, it strobes every time I get near it. But take a look at the reflections. Oh, the reflections in the water. So, so beautiful. Love it so very much. I'm gonna try to venture into the... Yeah, look, that's what happens when you try to go into the sky. You're gonna have to wait and see it on the terror result. Well, hell, ain't that something. This is At World's End. I kind of struggled with what to call it because it sort of reminds me of that uh, Ghostbusters scene where the spirits are kind of floating around all free after they uh, release the containment field. It also has this kind of supernatural air, and I landed on the uh, 
the uh, tidal influence of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, of all things. Can you imagine? Let's go in for a close-up. This sucker is so textured. I think because I swiped the top and I swiped the bottom too, but I didn't remove that much of the paint. And boy, does it show. But I think I'm okay with it, other than it's going to be a small nightmare to varnish. <laughs> but the color mixing on this swoopy, crazy, sun-filled sky is awesome. Don't mind the blobby bit right there. I have to ignore it. Must ignore, must ignore. I love the reflections and all of that that did down there. That's just so complex and crazy. The color variations and it's all so beauteous. So there it is at world's end. Uh, there will be a little bit of uh, geeking out over color after the fade if you want to join me. But if not, thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next Sunday. Bye-bye. All right, we'll just have a brief run over of our colors for those who've stuck around this far. How you doing? We have Amsterdam Light Rose, Arteza Pink, Mudmar Yellow Pink, Arteza Pearl Canary Yellow, Montmartre Fluoro Orange, that's a, a creamsicle color, that's the Montmartre Fluorescent Orange with uh, with white in it, titanium white. Artist Love Light Magenta, that is also a creamsicle color with uh, just, a, just a touch of titanium white in it. It is a shade darker than our pink, but it's pinkish, pink adjacent, I don't know. Um, we have Artist Loft Vermilion, that is also a cream-sickled color. It's a fantastic red-orange thingy that I'm just in love with, and we know this. Practically the only thing I ever use this for is to do ocean-y type, the, uh, the, um, the caps. The sea foam. The sea foam, that is the word I am struggling to find, or the term I am struggling to find. The sea foam is made with acrylic pearlescent mixing medium because I have never had the inclination to actually mix it with real paint. Liquitex Basics Turquoise Blue is, you know, a favorite. There's a favorite too. Uh, Arteza Pearl Turquoise Deco Art Deep Sapphire Deco Art Sapphire. Creative Inspirations Lemon Yellow is our is our sun. Uh, the pearl canary yellow is the, the center of the sun and the the <laughs> lemon yellow is the outside part of the sun that gets spread out more. Uh, Liquitex Basics light blue violet is the part of the bluey sky that shows through everything else um, and doesn't show up a lot if the, uh, if the last pour was anything to go by. And we've got leftover Deco Art Peacock Pearl, which I am just sneaking in to this thing because it will go fairly well with the ocean and give it some some differences and, and interest and it goes well enough and and I would like to get rid of it because it's been around for an age and a half. So there are our colors. Since I'm not layering a cup, this is where I will leave you. We will say bye-bye.